Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. On today's video we are going to go over my current foundation routine. I recently, and by recently I mean about a month ago, uh, picked up the Revolution Beauty Conceal and Define a foundation as well as the concealer. Now I am a F7. I actually probably could go a uh, half a shade darker than this. Um, and I am looking forward to the new release of the expanded color range that is supposed to be out on the 23rd. So I am going to see about uh, going up a little half shade. I think that this is a really good match for my skin tone. The only issue is it has a little bit too pinky undertone. And I tend to be more of the yellow and olive, uh, light olive undertone. So I'm really looking forward to seeing if I can find that when it releases on the 23rd. I know that Makeup Revolution has talked about uh, the fact that they will have olive undertones as well as more yellow, deeper complected undertones or skin tones as well as in the more pale range as well. I tend to fit into a light medium. Um, I found out of all of them this one, the F7, was going to be my uh, best bet so that is actually what I've been doing. I've actually been using it every day. It is the one I reach for every day. Now, if you have watched uh, my channel before, you know that I was a big fan, and still am a big fan, of Wet n Wild's Photo Focus Foundation. It is $5, it is wonderful, I love the coverage on it, but I won't lie when I say I fell in love with this one, and it has been my staple since I picked it up. So we're gonna talk today about what I do because I am on the drier side, like I said, and this is a matte foundation. So what do you do when you have dry skin and there's a matte foundation that you fell in love with? So I'm gonna kind of show you how I, how I get my skin ready and how it lasts all day long. We'll do a little bit of a wear test. I'll check in with you guys later and you can see how it really makes my skin look flawless without sucking the moisture out. Also, I'm going to talk about this, and that is, again, the Conceal and Define uh, Concealer. Now, this is a C6. It is a little too light for me. I think I need to actually go up to a C7, if I'm being perfectly honest. But it does brighten a little bit. It really works well under my eyes. Uh, I really like it. Again, I was using Wet n Wild's Photo Focus. I found that the Photo Focus was creasing a little more than this does. So, uh, you know, let's get to it. So first, I have already washed and moisturized my face, so that's all done. So now I'm going to go in and prime it. And what I do is I use the Cover FX Blurring Primer. I do have some larger pores in this area here and down in my cheek area. So I just kind of put it on the back of my hand. And then I tap it right there onto my cheeks where I know that I have... I kind of push it in where I know that I have more areas of larger pores. It's not as bad as uh, it could be, but I do like to blur them out just a little bit. A little bit down here on my chin. And then I do have a little bit up top here in my forehead area. And, and that's it. I really kind of just do that. Make sure it's everywhere kind of push in there and I have moisturized so that's already done and then what I'm going to do next is this now I thought about this the other day this is the revolution baking oil now I know it's supposed to normally kind of go here and here under the eye area before you bake I actually don't bake just because I find that it makes my eye under eye area look a little too dry and creepy but I thought, well, what if I put a little bit on my skin before I did my foundation? So that is what I've been doing the last couple weeks. I just kind of put a couple drops here and there, nothing too much. And then I rub it in all over. I do make sure I get under the eye area because my eyes tend to be drier than anywhere else. So then I rub it all over. Make sure it's, and it's very nice. It has grapeseed extract in it. I know it has olive oil. It has some, um, a little bit of lemon oil in it. 
And I've actually also been using it at night as kind of a serum on those days that I feel extra dry because I do have some dry patches here and here. So I just kind of go in with this before I moisturize and I found that that actually works very nicely to uh, keep an extra level of hydration on my skin while I'm sleeping. Okay, so now that I have all of this done and I have my primer and I have my baking oil, I kind of just let it sit for a second. And I am gonna show you two different applications. I have my Real Techniques complexion sponge that I will do on one side of my face. And I have this Luxie uh, brush, the Round Top Blender, the Luxie 532. I actually just started applying my foundation with the brush um, maybe last week. I wanted to try it out and see how it worked. I had tried foundation brushes in the past and I found that they left a lot of lines, but I really like the, the way that this applies the product. So I'm gonna show you on half the face how I apply that and then the other half is gonna be with my sponge. Now, when you look at the bottle, it is glass. It's nice, it's kind of a frosted glass. It is very reminiscent of Tarte's Shape Tape Foundation, their Aqua Foundation. It does have a very large doe fit. I know if you've watched any reviews about this before, you can see the doe fit is very, very large. Some people don't like that. I actually don't mind the doe foot at all. It doesn't bother me a little bit. I just go in, I swipe, and I'm gonna show you that right now. I kinda go in, I start at my cheek area. I kinda <laughs> just start swiping. Now I noticed this is not completely full coverage for me. It is more of a medium coverage, but that's okay, cause I really like it when my skin kinda shows through a little more. I'm gonna go down here a little bit only because, like I said, it is like a half shade too light for me. And I do have my little mirror here I'm gonna pull out. And I'm gonna show you on my right side, I'm gonna show you with the blending brush. So I just kind of start swirling and buffing around. Now I do like these Luxie brushes. I got this set in a Boxy Lux in December, and I really like them. They are synthetic. As you guys know, I don't really use animal hair brushes because I have really bad allergic reactions to it. That is really blending out nice. And I'm not seeing any brush marks anywhere. I'm just gonna go ahead and buff, buff, buff. And then I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm gonna come over here and literally just pounce. That's what I do when I'm using my sponge is I pounce. So I noticed that when I use my sponge, it is a little bit more of a sheer coverage than the brush, if you can see. It's a little, you can kind of see through my skin a little bit more and if I wanna even it out, I might have to go in with a little bit more, like a, another little layer. Whereas this side really, this side, the right side, it doesn't use as much and I believe that's just because of the brush. So, go in just a little more and I'm only gonna do it where I think it's, just needing a little more help there. Okay, so I only dotted a little not like when I swiped the first time. So I'm gonna go ahead and, yeah. And I'm pretty sure even though I'm using a dampened blender, it still kind of soaks up the product just a little bit. So it is gonna take a little more product to get the same coverage that I'm getting with this brush. But there you go, I don't know if you can see, my skin looks really nice with this foundation. It does not dry it out, especially now that I'm using that extra layer that the baking oil all over, especially in this area, in this area where I tend to have dry patches. It's not picking up on those dry patches at all. It's, it's just kind of smoothed over. So I'm gonna show you now how I do my eye, my under eye. 
I just picked this up. It's the LA Girl Pro Conceal Peach Corrector. I was using like a red almost correcting, but I found that to be a little too dark. So while I was at CVS the other day, I picked some of this up. I've never tried it, but I picked it up. I've heard really good things about it, and I thought the peach might actually work nicer because of the fact... Oh, that's a little much. Because... You know, I do have the lighter skin tone. It does have a nice little brush applicator. I'll try to smush that out a little bit. Smush that out like that's a really professional term. I do use my beauty blender for this. So I am going to go in with the other tip and kind of work that in. Just to cover up the areas that yeah right there then i just go in with this now i don't do the huge swipes because i find that's too much product so again this is the c6 i just go in and dot under my eye sometimes a little down here just to brighten up and then i go in again with my sponge and start to kind of press and roll. I find for me that is literally the best way to apply the product is like to pounce and kind of roll. Down here a little. Now as you can see it is a little brightening for me. It does look a little light I probably could go up again like a half shade with this one as well but I do like the coverage I do feel like when I'm looking I'm looking kind of not only here in the monitor but also in my mirror that it is a smooth coverage and then normally I just kind of let it set because I found that if I use powder over the top of it I end up with it kind of sucking what little moisture I have under my eyes straight out and it creeps and creases really fast so i don't tend to do that with uh, my foundation with my under eye concealer i just let it sit and i let it dry down on its own and with this it doesn't actually take too long to dry down it actually dries down pretty quickly and i feel like at least for a few hours it looks very very nice um, obviously i will check in with you guys later i'll show you how it's looking throughout the rest of the day right now I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my face and I'll show you the finish when I'm done so I'll be back with you in just a few minutes look for the day I did again use the Violet Voss uh, Holy Grail Pro Palette because that is my current palette of the week uh, and as you can see my skin looks really nice I don't feel like I'm wearing makeup on top of my skin it does blend in very very well I think I actually paid eight dollars for this I know it is normally 12 but I did have uh, some Ulta points so I used that towards it and I know I paid seven dollars for the concealer now I know that they now have a super size concealer because this one you you go through it pretty quickly um, you can order from the Ulta website which I probably will do when I run out of this one uh, I can tell you though for eight even twelve dollars this is remarkable on my skin and I am looking forward to seeing all of the different shades that come out at the end of the month I am going to check in with you guys later so you can see the difference and how it sets on my skin for a few hours so uh, I'll check in with you later but again like I said for eight eight dollars even twelve dollars this is a really good drugstore foundation. So if you can get your hands on it, even if you do have more mature skin like I do, if you have dry skin, again, just add a little bit of this, uh, uh, this baking oil on your skin, let it set in, and it really does make quite a difference in how the foundation sets completely on, on your skin. So uh, I'll be back in a little bit, a few hours. I'll see, let you see how it's settled in, if it's broken up in my lines, things like that. So uh, I'll be back with you soon.
Hi guys, so here is my last check-in of the night. It has been about seven, eight hours since I put on the uh, foundation. Just if you can look, you can see it, it broke up in a couple of places, but I really put it through some roughness today. Uh, I had uh, birthday stuff, I had babies to bathe. So you can see it has kind of where I've touched my face a lot. I tend to be a, fuss, a face toucher, I'm sure you guys have seen it. Um, but for the most part, my skin looks still really good for the fact that it's been on for almost eight hours. Uh, so, you know, there it is. I love this stuff. Again, for 12 bucks, you really can't beat it. So, uh, there you go. Uh, thank you guys for joining me today. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you hit the bell, you'll be notified when I upload videos. I do try to upload Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. And uh, like it. If you want to be friends with me on Instagram, you can find me at practically underscore fabulous. And I'll see you next time.